Do you ever fantasize about living in a real life fairy tale, wandering inside a big castle? Wonder no more. Welcome back to Top Europe. In this video, we will talk about the top 10 biggest castles in Europe. Before moving further, kindly like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell icon so you do not miss any upcoming videos. So, we have all twirled in a sparkling gown and tiara at least once in our lives. Influenced by bedtime stories of our youth, we'd closed our eyes and wonder where those horse-drawn carriages went when they drove right at happily ever after. Even now, as grown-ups, we still dream a little, because storybook abodes actually exists. Particularly in Europe, where hundreds of well-preserved castles mark enchanting landscapes. As we all know, Europe is renowned for its illustrious history, culture and spectacular architecture, all of which tell a story about the continent's history and people. And Europe's castles provide the best glimpse into the continent's history, at least that of its mighty kings and nobles who formerly resided in those fortified constructions designed to impress as well as terrify potential intruders. So here are top 10 biggest castles in Europe. Number 10. Segovia Castle, Spain The Alcazar of Segovia or Segovia Castle is a stone castle situated in the ancient city of Segovia, Spain. It is one of the most unusual castles in Spain owing to its design which resembles the bow of a ship. It is located on a rocky crag above the junction of the rivers Erasma and Clamores near the Guadarrama mountains. Originally constructed as a fortress, the Alcazar has since functioned as a royal palace, a state penitentiary, a royal artillery college and military institution. This castle also served as a model for Walt Disney's Cinderella castle. Number 9. The Castle in Love with the Wind, Bulgaria the castle in love with the wind was built with spectacular marble and metamorphosed limestone constructions inspired by the fairy tales of gifted architect and dreamer Giorgi Tumpalo. Not only it is Europe's newly built castle and one of the biggest castles, but the location of the castle is also one of a kind natural phenomenon. Here the wind adores the sun and whenever the sun shines there is always a breeze. Giorgi Tumpalo chose this barren field near the hamlet to fulfill a child's fantasy, to build a castle that existed only in fairy tales. And he truly turned his vision into reality. Moreover, the Bulgarian Hotel and Restaurant Association named this castle the most appealing tourist destination in 2012. And in 2013, Walt Disney used the natural setting of this castle to create the Sleeping Beauty film. This castle also won first prize in the worldwide competition A Design Awards 2016 in the category A Hospitality, Recreation, Travel and Tourism Design in 2016. Number 8. The Neuschwanstein Castle, Germany The Neuschwanstein Castle is another one of the biggest castles in Europe that attracts wanderlust from all across the globe. No Schwanstein was opened to the public seven weeks following King Ludwig II's death in 1886. The reclusive monarch had constructed the castle in order to withdraw from public life. And now hordes of people flock to this secret heaven on daily basis. Today, Neuschwanstein is one of Europe's most popular castles. Each year, 1.4 million people visit this sparkling castle. And, according to estimates, approximately 6,000 visitors each day pass through rooms designed for a single occupant during the summers. Number 7. Convoy Castle, Wales Convoy Castle is a medieval stronghold located in Convoy, Wales, on the country's north coast. Edward I constructed it between 1283 and 1289 as a part of his conquest of Wales. Moreover, the Convoy Castle is listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List as one of the finest examples of late 13th and early 14th century military architecture in Europe. The rectangular castle is constructed of native and imported stone and is located on a coastal ridge overlooking an important river crossing place. 
Number 6. The Chateau de Chambord, France. This stunning castle rises from the Salon region's swampy lowlands on the verge of a forest dense with wild boar. This building was authorized by Francois I, the youthful king who had achieved the renown in the Battle of Marignan. However, the Chateau de Chambord was never designed to be permanent residence. Francois I intended to stay here for only a few weeks at a time, leaving it devoid of furnishings and people following his visits. Besides, it was an architectural gem that the king frequently displayed as a symbol of his sovereignty to visiting crowned heads and ambassadors. Although the castle was not completed during the reign of Francois I, it is one of the rare examples of that era's architecture that has survived unchanged from its original design. Number 5. Edinburgh Castle, Scotland For centuries, Edinburgh Castle has dominated the skyline as a powerful stronghold, the nation's defender and a world-famous visitor destination. Edinburgh Castle is also a world-famous symbol of Scotland and it is included in the old and new towns of Edinburgh's World Heritage Site. It is also the most famous Scotland's castle and has complicated construction history. The oldest section, St. Margaret's Chapel, dates from the 12th century. James Fort built the Great Hall approximately in 1510. The Regent Morton built the Half Moon Battery in the late 16th century and the Scottish National War Memorial was built following the First World War. Moreover, the castle is home to the Scottish honours, the Stone of Destiny, the famed 15th century gun Mons Mac, the One O'Clock Gun and the Scottish National War Museum. Number 4. Malborg Castle, Poland Malborg Castle is one of the mightiest medieval Europe's castles. The construction of the structure began in the 13th century. Significant changes began in the early 14th century when Grandmaster Siegfried von Fichtwangen relocated his headquarters to Malborg. The castle was elevated to the position of capital which is one of the most powerful states on the Baltic's southern coast. In the 14th and first half of 15th century, a third section of the stronghold, the Low Castle, later known as the Outer Castle, was erected and expanded. Among other structures, the caravan contained a massive armory for cannons and war wagons, a granary on the banks of the Nogat and multitude of outbuildings. The chapel of St. Lawrence, which was built for the castle's servants, is located close to one of them. The entire complex was ringed by moats and defensive walls with innumerable towers, which were connected to the city of Malborg's defenses. The finest viewpoint from which to see the castle's tremendous size is from the Nogat River site. Number 3. Prague Castle, the Czech Republic Prague Castle is a historic icon of the Czech Republic, the most prominent Czech monument and one of the Czech Republic's most important cultural institutions. Probably around 880, Prince Boshivoy from the Premislit dynasty established the castle. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, Prague Castle is the world's biggest coherent castle complex. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site composed of a great number of palaces and ecclesiastical buildings in a variety of architectural styles. Ranging from the ruins of Romanesque style structures from the 10th century to Gothic modifications in the 14th century. During the First Republic, the renowned Slovenian architect Josip Plenik oversaw substantial renovations. The castle has undergone extensive and ongoing repairs and renovations since the Velvet Revolution. Number 2. Windsor Castle, England Few monuments in Europe have a more illustrious history than Windsor Castle, Europe's longest occupied palace. The castle's construction began in 1070 and it has been the residence of monarchs for approximately 1000 years. It was founded in the 11th century by William the Conqueror and has since been home to 39 monarchs. The castle sits on 13 acres of land above the river Thames's south bank. 
The latter is a gigantic circular tower built on an artificial mount that dominates the surrounding flatland for many kilometers. The court west of the round tower is referred to as lower ward, while the court east of it is referred to as upper ward. Today it is a preferred weekend residence of the British Queen. Moreover, the castle is home to magnificent artifacts including a significant amount of the royal collection as well as the spectacular architecture of the St. George Chapel. Number 1. Spies Castle, Slovakia This large castle stands majestically on a hill above the plebs in the Spies lands the northwestern part of eastern Slovakia. The Spies castle was built on the site of previous castle approximately 900 years ago, in the 12th century. It was owned by various monarchs and families as a significant political, economic and cultural center for this region of the Kingdom of Hungary. Now a state-owned property is one of the Europe's largest castle and popular tourist destination. Also, numerous movies have been filmed here including Dragonheart, Phoenix, Cool, The Conqueror, The Lion in the Winter and The Last Legion. Without a doubt, you can practically feel history speaking to you. So, which castle would you like to visit? Let us know in the comment section. And that's all from today's video. Thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next one.